Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to Smashing English. Today we are doing something a little bit different, so stay tuned to find out how you can improve your English pronunciation. So today I'm going to be giving you a bit of a lesson on pronunciation. We're going to be talking about a lot of sounds, a lot of consonants, a lot of vowels, linking, everything. This is an exercise that I do with my students and every single time my students see an improvement after doing this. Just to clarify, obviously I am British. I am from Birmingham in the middle of England. So I am going to be focusing on a standard English pronunciation for this. So obviously if you're looking for something more American, if you want to focus your pronunciation towards American English or Australian English, a lot of these sounds will be the same, but I am focusing more on a standard English pronunciation. Are you ready? Let's begin. So this is a poem by Roald Dahl. If you know Matilda or Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, that's the same guy. But I really like Roald Dahl poems for this exercise because he uses so many interesting sounds and consonants and interesting words. So what we're going to do is we're gonna read it together and by the end of this video, you should be able to read a big chunk of this poem pretty well. So we're going to focus on the sounds that most people find pretty difficult and hopefully by the end, you'll feel pretty confident with those sounds. So let's start with the first four lines, because it's always nice to, you don't want to interrupt a line in the middle of a poem. You know what I mean? This is how it would sound in a standard English accent. The most important thing we've learned so far as children are concerned is never, never, never let them near your television set. So first of all, let's have a look at this linking sound here because we've got a consonant to a vowel and that's normally the easiest link to make because all you need to do is you need to, instead of viewing it as two words, we've got most and then important, I want you to imagine that it's like this, most important. So the T actually goes in front of important and this is the same with most words where you've got a consonant and then a vowel straight after it. If you want to link them, just imagine that the second word begins with the last word of the first word. So don't think of it as most important, think of it as most important. So we're gonna say the most important thing. Now this is a really tricky link because we've got a TH which people struggle with anyway, and we've got to kind of link these two sounds together. So how we do it is this. So with this T, you don't release it. So we don't go the most important thing. You don't do that t, t, t. You almost make it. So you put your tongue in the position of making a T. My tongue is there. It's ready to do the T, but it doesn't release. We just go important. So just try that. Try to make the sound important, but don't release the T. Don't say important. Say important. Get your tongue in the right position, but don't release it, okay? So we're going to say, the most important, then make your TH, thing. The most important thing. It's like going up on a roller coaster. The most important thing. The most important thing. Hold it up in the air for a bit, then release. So this whole thing should sound a bit like this. So we say, the most important thing we've learned, the most important thing we've learned, the most important thing we've learned. Okay, now remember to do that D, okay? You've got an N and a D very close to each other. So we're going up into the nasal to go learn, but then also we need that D, it's just as important. Learned learned the most important thing we've learned then let's carry on so far as children are concerned so the great thing about working with poems is we know exactly how these words should sound because they need to rhyme so learned needs to rhyme with concerned so it's exactly the same sound we're going to do learned concerned like that now try not to make these d's like Forrest Gump D's. And I say Forrest Gump because Forrest Gump kind of talks like um, this, uh, and he says uh, learned, 
concerned, running. He does hard consonants at the end of his words. So don't make them super harsh that they're like Forrest Gump. Just want to go learned, concerned. It's a soft little D. Okay, and we also want to link this together because we've got a consonant and then a vowel after it. So this is where it's tricky with people speaking in a standard English accent because most of the time when we have an R in a word like here, we don't say it. We don't go learned in a standard English accent. We don't say learned like, a, like an American would. We would go learned learned and we open it up. So you would think, okay, standard English, we say far, far. We don't pronounce the R, but actually we do. If the next word starts with a vowel, we pronounce it because we need to link those two words together. And it's very hard to say far as, far as, that doesn't make any sense. We say far as, so far as, so far as. So just like most important, I want you to imagine it a bit more like that. So far as, far as, far as. So it should sound like this. The most important thing we've learned so far as children are concerned. Okay, so now we have that ER ending. So in standard English, when you have a word that is more than one syllable and it ends in an ER, so you go consonant ER, that is going to be a schwa. Now, a schwa sound is a completely neutral sound. It goes uh, uh, uh. There's no effort. You should be able to do anything with your lips. You can go ah, 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 ah. It's very attractive, I know. Ah, ah. So you should be able to do anything with your lips. The lips are not involved. So instead of worrying about this ah and saying like, oh, never, all you need to do is just drop the sound. So we say never. Never, never. Just drop it, drop it. Drop it like rubbish on the floor. No, don't drop rubbish on the floor. Don't litter, all right? Be a good person. Never, never. So we would say, is never, never, never let them near your television set, okay? So let's try that. Let's try that with me. We're going to say this three times. Here we go. Never, never, never. Now just look in the mirror, are you doing this? Are you going never, never with your lips? Are they going forward into an uh? Look in the mirror, they should be just going never, never. Nothing, the lips aren't doing anything. Okay, so let's carry on. We've got a TH, I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to highlight the THs because often the TH is such a tricky sound for people. I'm gonna make them pink. Let's make pink THs. So often people struggle with THs because it's a very specific sound to English and Spanish, I believe. There are other languages that have THs, but a lot of languages don't have THs. So it's very difficult for people to grasp it. So if you are not great with your TH sound, I have made another video all about the TH sound. So I will link that down below. But if you have already watched that video and you feel pretty confident with your TH, let's do it. So get your tongue in between your teeth and this is a voiced TH. So I want that to be zzz, zzz. There's a buzz, you should feel it here. Zzz, zzz. This one, however, I'm going to change the color because this one is an unvoiced TH. So this one goes thing, thing. No voice, there's no buzz in my throat thing, okay? So let's try this one. Let's go from here, actually. Is never, never, never let them near your television set. And these R's, we don't say them because a consonant comes after them, okay? Look, consonant, Y, consonant, T. So we are not going to say these R's. These R's, mm. We say near your, near your. So let's try. Now, actually, this let and them should be linked because really it's one, it's one line, isn't it? Is never, never, never let them near your television set. So do the same thing that you did here. You're going to nearly pronounce your T, let, get the tongue in the right position, but don't, don't release it. We just say, is never, never, never let, tongue in position, but don't say it, let 
them, then go straight to the TH, okay? So it should sound like this. Is never, never, never let them near your television set. Okay, you're doing really, really well. Let me just highlight these schwas so that you remember these schwas sound. What color should we make a schwa? Let's do a nice orange. So that's our schwa sound, okay? So I'm going to read that for you one more time. See if you can read it with me or read it after me, okay? The most important thing we've learned so far as children are concerned is never, never, never let them near your television set. Okay, let's move on to the next four lines. So here we have a lot of dark L's. We're gonna make these a dark, let's make it a dark maroon, okay? So we have two different kinds of L's in standard English. We have a light L, which is just la 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 la. You flick the tongue there, just above the teeth, you go La, 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 like a little fairy. La, 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 la. A dark L is you take this part of the tongue uh, 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 and you press it just here, just up above the teeth, and you go, ooh, ooh, ooh. It's like your tongue rises up the back of your throat and blocks the airwave, so you can't get a really nice sound out. It's just, ooh. So instead of going, or better still, you don't need any lips. We just go, or better still, 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 ooh, 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 ooh. just don't install the idiotic thing at all. <laughs> so you can notice when I'm making this dark L, I'm smiling. I'm going, oh, because that's much easier to make rather than doing this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. that's really hard to do. It's much easier when you smile. And a lot of the time people get in the habit of going still, 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 and they make an ooh sound. You shouldn't be doing an ooh, it should be still, still. So look in the mirror again, look what your mouth is doing. If it's going still, mm -mm, should be still, still. Still. And just to clarify the rules of dark L's and light L's. So dark L's come before a consonant, so like uh, felt, or at the end of a word, so like um, well. We do a light L before a vowel. So Laura or hello, if there's a vowel after it, it's light. Okay, so let's try those two lines again. So we've got, or better still, and here we have that schwa again, like never, 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 better, better, or better still. We don't pronounce this R either, because look, this is a consonant, so if an R comes before a consonant, we don't say it. Or better still, just don't tin stall. Let's link that T here. Let's do what we did here. Put it here. So we're going to say, just don't tin stall. Just don't tin stall. Now this is a really interesting link. So how do you think we link these two sounds together? We've got an E and an I. So if you're ever unsure, just try to say those two words as close to each other as possible. So without taking a breath. The idiotic. Oh, I kind of did a link there, but what sound did I make? The idiotic. The y, the y, 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 y. It's a y sound. So to link this, we say, or better still, just don't install the idiotic thing at all. Now, why am I saying the and why am I not saying the? Because here I said the, but here I say the. So the rule, the is like the when the word after it starts with a consonant. So the most, ma, 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 consonant. 
but the is like the when the word after it starts with a vowel. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So because idiotic starts with a vowel, we say the idiotic. Okay, so that's the rule. Sometimes we say the, sometimes we say the. Okay, oh, and let's carry that T over as well. Let's carry that T over. So it should sound like this. Or better still, just don't install the idiotic thing at all. And let's highlight these THs as well. So you can see by the end of this exercise, everything is very colorful <laughs> and there's lots of different, you know, colors and bolds, but that's just a way to help your brain remember, okay, I've got to do something here. I've got to focus. And you can just you can just focus on making the sounds. You don't need to remember all the things that I've taught you because there's a lot to think about. But if you do colors, you, you draw on it and everything, you can just focus on making the right sounds. Okay, so the next two lines go like this. In almost every house we've been, we've watched them gaping at the screen. Okay, so we can definitely do some linking here because look, we've got consonant, vowel, consonant, vowel. That's so easy to link. You've got to link those together. So all we do is we do this enormous, enormous. It's like you're about to say enormous, 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 every. Carry that T over. Now it looks wild, right? <laughs> looks crazy. So now we say enormous every. So it's kind of one big word like that. <laughs> In almost every, in almost every, like that, okay? So try it. I, in almost every house we've been, nice. Then make sure I hear every one of those sounds. When people say watched, often it just sounds like watch. People forget the the ed on the end sometimes people do it like watched with a d but it's not a d it's a t watched watched when you have a ch and an ed it's going to be ch -t, ch -t, okay and make sure you don't say washed a lot of people mix up um they say washed instead of watched so i always say that this one sh is like the ocean but this one, TCH, is like a train. So don't mix those up. Okay. Then this word gaping. Gaping is like when you're just like, uh, like if your mouth is gaping open, it's just hanging open. Gaping means hanging open, really. At the screen. Oh, look, we've got another T that we don't say. At the screen. So you go to say it, nearly say it, but don't release it. At the screen. So let me get rid of that. Uh, make you pink, make you like that. Okay, so let's try that whole thing. So in almost every house we've been, we've watched them gaping at the screen. And that's a the screen because this is a consonant. Okay, boom, 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 boom. Let's try the whole thing. Let's try the whole thing. So. See if you can read it with me. You ready? The most important thing we've learned so far as children are concerned is never, never, never let them near your television set. Or better still, just don't install the idiotic thing at all. In almost every house we've been, we've watched them gaping at the screen. Nice, well done. Okay, now I'm gonna do a little test, okay? Little test, test, test. So, what kind of, well, we know this is a TH. Uh, oh, forgive me, forgive me. I've colored these wrong. See, we all make mistakes, don't we? We all make mistakes. Um, just making sure that's an unvoiced, yes, yeah, thing. Any other ones? The, them, the? No, we're good. Okay, so we've got a voiced TH here, they. Then we've got this word. Now, this word means to just sit around and do nothing. I'm just like this. Uh, uh, I'm not doing anything, okay? But what kind of L is it? 
Is it a dark L like that? Or, 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 or is it a light L? La, 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 la. What do we think? What do we think? So here's the answer. On its own, if we put that word on its own, it would be a dark L because L is the last sound. And that's one of the rules of a dark L. If it's the last sound, it's dark. So it would be lol, lol. Push that tongue, push it against the top of your mouth. They lol. However, because we want to link words together, because that's what helps us sound really fluent, now suddenly when we link it, there's a vowel after it. Oh my goodness. So now we have to follow the rules of a light L because there's a vowel. So now we say they law land slop. Law land land. And we've gone back to a light L. So always follow the rules of when they are linked. When words are linked together, then decide if it's going to be a dark L or a light L. So on its own, without linking, this would be dark. But when it's linked, it's light. So we say, they law land slop. That's another light L, slop. And lounge about. Lounge about is just, oh, I'm not doing anything. And we can link that G here. So instead of going lounge about, we're going to say, forget about that E actually, lounge about, lounge about, lounge about. Okay. So these E's, by the way, E's at the end of English words, a lot of them are completely pointless. So try not to get distracted by the E's. Think about the sound before it. That G is what's important, okay? So let's try that together. They law land slop and lounge about. Lovely. Again, this E here. So we've got and stare until their eyes pop out. Got a lot of linking there because you will see that E and think, oh, okay, I've got a vowel to vowel link here. No, it's not a vowel to vowel link. It's an R to vowel link. Really, it should be this, like going up the stairs. So really, you're going to say this. And stare until, and stare until, because the R is the last sound of the word. It's not the last letter, but it's the last sound. So we're going to follow the same rule like we did, uh, where is it, we're here. So far as, we're going to follow that same rule, but the only difference is we've got that silent E, which is completely pointless. So, and stare until th 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 oh, that's not the right colour. Their eyes, carry that R over, pop out, pop out. So we're doing lots of linking here, okay? So try it with me. And stare until their eyes pop out. And look, another dark L. Woo, 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 woo. Until, until, until. Okay, we're going to do two more lines. That's it. That's it. Just going to go up to here, okay? So then we say, last week in someone's place, we saw a dozen eyeballs on the floor. So here's a test, okay? So how do we link these two words together? I don't want to say last week. I want to link them. How do I do it? Correct. We take that T over and it's going to sound a bit more like tweak, <laughs> tweak, like if you tweak something. Last week, last week, last week, last week, kin, keep it, keep it linked. So link that over. Last week in. So all of that should sound like one word, really. Last week in someone's place we saw. Now that looks like ow. A lot of my students go sow or so. I hear a lot of so, but it's not. It should rhyme with door. Door and saw and war should all rhyme. They should all rhyme. So make sure it's like a forward or sound. We saw a dozen, this is an uh sound, dozen, dozen. And what kind of L is that? What is that? Is it a dark L or a light L? What do you think? Yes, it's a dark L because it comes before a consonant. Whoop, whoop, whoop. A dozen eyeballs, eyeballs. 
on the floor, on the floor. That's a lot. That's a lot to think about, okay? But you've got this. You've got this. We're going to try it all together, okay? Are you ready? You've got this. You've got this. Here we go. The most important thing we've learned so far as children are concerned is never, never, never let them near your television set. Or better still, just don't install the idiotic thing at all. In almost every house we've been, we've watched them gaping at the screen. They loll and slop and lounge about and stare until their eyes pop out. Last week in someone's place we saw a dozen eyeballs on the floor. You did it! Now obviously there are still some sounds in there that you might find difficult or maybe I haven't mentioned them, um, but we can't talk about every single sound. These are just the main sounds that I think most people struggle with. Um, but I hope this was useful for you. I hope this little crash course on lots of sounds wasn't too overwhelming. But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you would like to follow us on Instagram, you can do so there. And if you would like an online English lesson with me or Bez, the link for that is down below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Ta-ta!